Alright guys, so here we are at my computer and I'm going to be showing you the software. So here, um, unfortunately I can't show you that it does work, but um, I can't prove to you that it works, but I'm pretty sure you should know by now that you know, I'm obviously not lying here. But anyway, so light effect switch so that basically just turns the light, um, not on the scroller, but on the uh, uh, the little spider icon. I think it looks like a spider. Anyway, so it only turns that off and on. Now, all of these lighting settings only affect that spider icon, not the scroller in any way. You can't turn the scroller light off, on, change color, whatever. So I'm going to um, keep it on. Light effect type option. Now, this fully lightened and breathing out, remember, because um, I did the other half of the video a couple days ago. Um, breathing basically just turns on. Um, then the light turns off, and you know it's it's a breathing effect. So now you can choose a single color. You can choose to um, red is yes, um, no red I guess is yeah uh, no. So I'm gonna click on that and click. Uh, I'm gonna leave that clicked. Then if you click apply, it will automatically apply the settings, and it will start. To, uh, so in my case, it the light will be on. It will be breathing blue which it is. Alright, so we've got a couple settings here, a lot to look at. Um, so let's go over now, let's go uh, over to sensitivity. Now we've got a couple things here. I would always leave this on unless um, basically what this is, um, X, um, it's got something to do with like graphing. So X, um, X is horizontal, uh, left and right, Y is vertical, up and down. Um, so I would leave that on, but basically uh, this is uh, the top bar is for X, the bottom one is for Y. So you can choose the movement speed of both, um, or the base uh, speed of uh, the of the X and the Y. So if you want, maybe the uh, maybe you want to turn left and right faster than you want to do up and down, then go for it. You could uh, you can turn X Y synchronization off and just but instead I'm going to leave that on because I don't like messing with that. I don't, I don't really know why you would want one faster than the other but anyways um, now you can choose to um, um, alright I'm not sure about the red things it might be about the XY synchronization I have not had the software um, you know, for a very long time. I've only had it for about a week now, so I'm just showing you everything I know. Um, if you guys could help me out by telling me a couple things I may not know, then, or maybe I've left out, that would be great. So anyways, uh, let's continue. So I'm not sure about that red, but um, DPI setting 1, which is red, 2, which is green, and 3, which is blue. Uh, now you can change the speed so that blue is the slowest and red is the fastest or vice versa or maybe green is either way um, and I've got a CPI cycle so now I will show you what that is in a second here but let's uh, so now we've talked a little bit about this so now let's go over and talk about the uh, the right one which starts on button settings but I'm gonna leave that for last let's go over here I'm not too sure what polling rate is um, it um, their um, values of Hertz but so 500 uh, 500 Hertz 1000 um, I'm not too sure what that will be nor do I know what on to go speed is it's on uh, by default uh, off so I would just leave that unless you really know what you're doing System settings. We got double click uh, Windows mount, uh, Windows pointer speed tilt uh, Windows scroll. A lot of this is self-explanatory. I'm not too sure why it says one page here, but um, basically uh, how fast double click will uh, click. Um, how fast the Windows pointer, I guess, will how fast the Windows pointer is. Um, and you know it, it's more or less vice versa. I can't really tell the tilt wheel scroll speed. Uh, I assume that that's the scroll wheel. Oh no, actually, here's the scroll wheel. The tilt wheel, I'm not too sure. I might be just moving the mouse or something. I, I I'm not too sure. Um, if you guys know what that is, please uh, tell me. Um, and enhance pointer precision. I guess just make it maybe a little bit slower. Uh, slower. 
um, but let's go over to button settings. That's um, I'm pretty sure that's what you're really looking forward to, the programmable and macro buttons. So we got a lot of buttons here, exactly ten. Um, that's actually quite a lot for a um, for a very affordable uh, gaming mouse. It is wired, but it's totally worth it. So, um, unfortunately, well, just so that um, just to make sure that you don't mess up, the software automatically has a uh, setting um, so that you always have to have at least one button that um, uh, that is left click. Right button, uh, right click, and all the others it could care less about. As long as you have one button, no matter what the button is, for um, it, I mean it could be this, this. It doesn't really matter what it is, as long as you have one button for um, for left click. Because otherwise, I mean it's very difficult to do anything. It's possible, it's just very difficult. So let's go over here real quick. So as you can see, when you so for me when you click the uh, uh, scroll button. It um, it does CPI cycle. Now, really, that's DPI. So it cycles through all three of the DPI settings. Now, um, they have two arrows here um, for the purpose of DPI. So that um, say you're on so DPI up, DPI down. Uh, that's a little bit self-explanatory. So we got CPI cycle, CPI up, CPI down. So CPI down will go uh, from three to uh, from three to two to one, and CPI up or CPI up will go from one to two to three. Three being the highest setting or blue. Now it's got quite a few settings here, so um, now a lot of you uh, may have been doing what I've been doing uh, if you haven't watched this video, but you do have the mouse and been trying to figure this out. So notice there's not a, it doesn't look as if there's a way to um, use a specific thing for, a specific um, thing here for a button that's not listed here. So what you can do, now, what I would do is go into Macro Manager and just create a button like that. But um, if you need to hold the button, then you then yeah you would have to change, and that would get very irritating. So say um uh, you know let me go in there real quick. So say on here let me go in Macro Manager. So say um so here we go. I, I got Escape. So I press it down, then up. That's basically when you click that third button. That's what happens. Or you could set it so it does that with R, um, and you know you you can do this in any way. So I'm gonna call this uh, just a test. So I'm gonna make it type hello. H, E, L, L, O. So I'm gonna stop recording. Now you can also record delays between key commands. So that means uh, it either does it all um, like you know one after the other like less than a second or um, if you do if you press one key then wait about five seconds for the next one it will actually count how many times um, you know uh, how long until the next button should be pressed uh, then we got loop times which um, it, it's a little bit self-explanatory you'll just do this again based on how many times you want it and you can turn this off and on so let's click on test let's click OK now we have to go back in here, assign macro, and go to test. So it is my uh, wheel button. So let's click apply. Let's go over here. And now if I click the scroll button, yeah, it doesn't really work. But hmm, I'm a little bit curious why it's not. But oh, that's why. Um, see, there is a small, or, you know, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go down here, and as you can see, it's not there. Um, now, normally, your mouse uh, configuration thing will be here. That's the one you need to click on. For whatever reason, my computer does this weird glitch. I'm not sure if it happens to you. I think it only happens to a, a select uh, group of people, but for whatever reason, um, it 
divides the software into two sort of chunks. Um, so I can only affect the actual mouse if I go to uh, the specific one which would be located here. For whatever reason it's not, but... So anyways, um, I can show you what's already on here though, so backspace is the attack button. So if I type something on here, then I click backspace, oh look, it uh, automatically uh, does backspace. Now, you would probably have to do the macro, uh, create a macro for backspace if you wanted to uh, it to automatically, like, as if you hold held uh, backspace, but what we're going to do is... Say you um say you've been doing that macro thing, well you don't need to. So if you hold it it'll hold, if you click it it'll click. So let's go to assign a shortcut. Now you can choose a very uh, a single key. You can choose to do control and then that key, shift and then that key, uh shift and the key at the same time, sorry. Alt and the key, the Windows button and the key, for whatever reasons, or none. Alright, so I'm just gonna leave it at backspace. Then we got up down, uh, which is basically uh, the arrow keys, which I set to the two DPI buttons. I got Control C and Control V, which are copy and paste. Control C is copy, Control V is paste. Uh, scroll up and down, just normal, because I, I like having to be able to scroll up and down with that. Um, so yeah. So, um, the last thing I really want to show, oh, I'll show you a couple more things in here. Um, I'm not going to show you everything just because uh, it would be nice to sort of, uh, uh, if you have any questions about any of the, uh, any of the uh, specific uh, uh, button options, just let me know, uh, one that I haven't gone over. Except on to go, I'm not too sure. Again, I'm not too sure what that is. So we got Windows key, which is um, the thing that pops that menu up uh, when you, uh, the, uh, this menu up when you click it. We got wheel click, which is the scroll button, uh, the scroll um, key, and you just click it. Double click, that's yeah, self-explanatory. Assign a shortcut when we went over. Button off, again self-explanatory. IE forward and backward. I'm pr I'm not too sure what that is. I believe it's for Internet Explorer. If you want to go forward and back a page. Uh, scroll up and down, tilt left and right. You know, I'm not too sure. I, that's either, I don't know, that might either be to rotate your screen or to actually strafe, um, like for games. But um, assign a launch. Now, this is really cool. Basically, when you click that button, it will automatically launch the program of your choice. So we, um, you will have to go in here and select the EXE that you normally use. So... I go in here, I go into games, and then I just click on one of the short, um, for whatever reason, it's not here. Um, yeah, I really wish I could use some other than EXE, but, um, so, say I want to launch Minecraft. So, whenever I click that button, it will launch uh, Minecraft. Of course, I'm not using the right one, so it won't uh, work. Um, so, let's continue. So fire button, what that is, um, say you uh, say you play, an, uh, say you're making an FPS profile, which I will talk about uh, profiles I will talk about in a couple seconds. But fire button, um, say you're making an FPS pro uh, profile, just you know for all your FPS games. So you know you have a button for reloading, you have a button um, to shoot obviously and aim down your sight or crouch or you know whatever. Well, the fire button, say you don't have a great trigger finger. Um, and you're using a pistol. Now that can really suck because that can kill you very quickly. You know, if you don't have the uh, if you don't have a good trigger finger. So what you can do, you can click on fire button. Uh, the default um, by default, um, this button is automatically fire button. But what you can do um, when you uh, click that button that you've set fire to or fire button to, it will constantly click the left button. So it's like it's like. Um, it's just like holding down the left key, um, the left mouse button, and it's automatically shooting a, a pistol. You can do that with assault. Uh, I mean, it'll work with assault rifles too, but basically, you're just shooting your pistol at the fastest speed it can, based on the pistol, of course. But uh, open driver that is to open this software. Window, um, Windows key got over that. On to go. Where I'm not. I'm still not too sure what that is. 
uh, Windows. So we got a couple things in Windows. We got calculator, email. I'm pretty sure that's only for Outlook, but uh, maybe you can customize it. Not too sure. Uh, favorites, forward, back, stop. My computer, refresh, home search. Now uh, there are a lot. There's a lot of stuff here. So basically, what that refers to is the Windows Explorer. We go in here real quick. So when it, um, so for example, when it said f um, forward, backward, these are the uh, two arrow keys here. When it referred to stop, um, if maybe if you're refreshing or you're loading a, a page and hasn't loaded yet, or you know, loading like this. As in, and it's taking a while to load and it hasn't loaded yet, you can click, um, there will be an X where it refreshes and you can, or you can assign a button to it. Uh, there's my computer which will pop up this. And there is refresh which, uh, um, it just refreshes it in case, you know, maybe it doesn't automatically uh, refresh it and... Uh, maybe you put a new file in a folder that you're looking at or something. Home, I'm not too sure where that will take you. Search uh, will take you to like right here. CPI switch, um, we went over that. That's basically just DPI. So C uh, DPI up and down, uh, if you don't remember. DPI up will go up sensitivity from red, green to blue. Uh, DPI down will go from blue to green to red. Cycle, which will basically just cycle um, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. Profile, we will talk about that after. Multimedia, open uh, your default music player. Uh, previous track, next track, play, and play or pause the song, stop the song. Uh, mute, volume up and volume down. And then assign macro. So now let's go over profiles. So what profiles are, say you, uh, um, say, I mean, you wouldn't want to have the same button configuration for Minecraft and a uh, Counter-Strike, for instance. Now, you also wouldn't want to go back and just edit it each time, which is where profiles come in. So you can change your profile and the button, uh, so you can... So let's go and edit a profile. I'm oh, sorry, not that. Load a profile. There we go. Now it's got five by default. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, five by the default. It says zero, one, two, three, four, four, um, zero being like the first, one being two, and so on. But so I've got one for programming because I am a programmer. Um, I know Java, PHP. Uh, C++, you know, I'm, I'm doing a couple of them, uh, really getting into it, uh, Microsoft Visual Basic, so, anyways, so I've got one for that, which is like arrow keys, copy and paste, you know, the basics, uh, for if you're, like, working on a notepad document, so Minecraft, uh, I mean, you know, that's for Minecraft, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive for Counter-Strike, so let's go to Minecraft, so now I've got, uh, this button for opening my inventory, I got this button for escape, um, and yeah, I do need the fire button, although it's on FPS, Mine, uh, Minecraft just, you know, when I'm digging, when I'm uh, mining, it'd be nice to have a fire button, and let me just tell you something, um, when you're using the fire button, to make sure that you're using it, um, uh, the uh, little LED light, not the scroll one, but the one with like the spider, I guess, that will uh, like blink red, alright, if you're using it. Also, um, for most FPSs, if you don't have a if you don't have a fast enough computer, it will lag quite a bit. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, only use it on the basic games unless you have a very fast computer, or a very good computer for gaming. Um, good RAM, good CPU, you know, um, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so you can create profiles, load them, save them, and edit them. Um, now you can have profile one, um, so that when you load, uh, the, uh, driver software up, profile one will, uh, will be the Minecraft one, or, you know, you can, uh, load another one as that, uh, Counter-Strike, you know, whatever. Um, so now we, let's go over to profile two. Now let's create, let's say we want to create a new profile. So let's make this, uh, just a test, why not? 
and path to executable. Now this is optional, but uh, it's a really neat uh, it's a really neat um, uh, tool or function, I guess. Um, basically, what it does when you uh, when you open a specific uh, when you launch a uh, exe a very specific exe it will automatically load this profile onto the mouse. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And yeah, so right here. Um, so yeah, oh, whoops. So let's go here, create profile, test, and path to execute. I'm gonna leave that out, but you know it does. So, so notice how. Oh, well, that's interesting. I did not know. So yeah, as you can see, I actually got no uh, button for left click, which is very weird. I'm not. I don't remember making this profile, but I'm really curious as to how it got like that. Ah, oh, see, but now I can't change it. Oh my god, we get it. Okay, so now it's not even letting me do anything. So I'm just gonna go left click. There we go. So what was this? There's nothing in it. But it says loop 255 times. Oh god. Um, let's not loop it that many times, just in case it's ever used again. Which I hope it's not. But um, anyways, guys, this has been a long but okay tutorial on how to use the uh, driver software. Any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. Oh, uh, by the way, save profile, you know, whatever. Save, uh, save name. Hey, I'm going to go over profile three and I'm going to change it to this. Ah, whoops. Uh, load. And there is that profile. So anything I haven't uh, said and uh, you would like to know, please just uh, comment in the comment section below or private message me um, on Steam or YouTube. Um, Xbox I'm not using for the time being just because I'm doing a couple uh, personal things. But um, yeah, guys, so thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Uh, questions, comments, already said that. So thanks for watching.